What is gold-bearing deposit? A gold-bearing deposit is a natural concentration of rocks, minerals, or sediments that contains gold in sufficient quantities to be of geological or economic interest. These deposits form through a variety of geological processes that concentrate gold from its widespread but usually very low abundance in the Earth's crust, about 0.004 parts per million. When these processes enrich gold into a localized body of rock or sediment, geologists classify it as a gold-bearing deposit. Gold-bearing deposits can occur in different geological settings. Primary, load, deposits. These form when hot, mineral-rich fluids circulate through fractures, faults, or shear zones in the Earth's crust and precipitate gold along with quartz and sulfide minerals. They are often found in veins or disseminated zones within igneous or metamorphic rocks. Common associated minerals include quartz, pyrite, chalcopyrite, galena, and sphalerite. Secondary, placer, deposits. These occur when gold erodes from primary deposits and accumulates in riverbeds, alluvial fans, or beaches. Because gold is dense and chemically resistant, it tends to concentrate in stream channels, forming nuggets, flakes, or fine grains. Placer deposits have been historically important sources of gold, fueling gold rushes around the world. Complex or mixed deposits. Some deposits show characteristics of both primary and secondary processes, where gold is released from bedrock but redeposited nearby in sediments. Economically, a gold-bearing deposit is only considered an ore deposit if the concentration of gold is high enough to justify extraction under existing technology and market conditions. Otherwise, it may simply be called a mineral occurrence. In geology, recognizing a gold-bearing deposit involves studying the host rock type, structural controls, faults, shear zones, geochemical signatures, and the presence of indicator minerals that often occur with gold. In short, a gold-bearing deposit is any natural accumulation of material in which gold is present in notable amounts, whether in veins underground, dispersed through rock, or concentrated in sediments. Different Types of Gold-Bearing Deposits Great question. Geologists classify gold-bearing deposits into several main types based on the geological processes that form them, the nature of the host rocks, and the mineral associations. Gold is very widely distributed in the Earth's crust, but only certain geological environments concentrate it into economically significant deposits. Below is a detailed overview of the different types. 1. Orogenic, mesothermal, gold deposits. Also called greenstone belt or load gold deposits. Formed during mountain building events, orogeny, when deep seated hydrothermal fluids rise through faults, shear zones, and fractures. Typically hosted in metamorphic rocks such as schists, greenstones, and quartz veins. Gold is usually associated with quartz, pyrite, arsenopyrite, and carbonate minerals. These deposits are among the most important sources of gold worldwide, especially in regions like the Canadian Shield, Western Australia, and South Africa's Witwatersrand Rand Basin. 2. Epithermal Gold Deposits Form at shallow depths, less than 1.5 km, in volcanic regions, at relatively low temperatures, 150 to 300 degrees Celsius. Created when hot, gold-bearing hydrothermal fluids rise toward the surface and deposit gold along fractures and cavities. Divided into two subtypes. High sulfidation epithermal deposits, associated with acidic fluids, contain anargite, pyrite, and alanite. Low sulfidation epithermal deposits, formed by neutral to weakly alkaline fluids, rich in quartz, agillaria, and electrum, a natural gold-silver alloy. Famous examples, the Comstock Lode, USA, and deposits in the Andes of South America. 3. Porphyry-related gold deposits. Associated with large, intrusive igneous bodies called porphyries. Gold occurs along with copper and molybdenum making these deposits important copper-gold producers. Form at intermediate depths where magmatic hydrothermal fluids circulate. Gold is usually finely disseminated in large volumes of rock, so ore grades are low, but the sheer size of deposits makes them highly economic. 
Examples, Grubberg, Indonesia, Bingham Canyon, USA. 4. Placer Gold Deposits. Secondary deposits formed by the erosion and transport of gold from primary sources. Gold accumulates in riverbeds, alluvial fans, beaches, and glacial deposits due to its high density and resistance to weathering. Placer deposits may contain nuggets, flakes, or fine gold dust. Historically important for gold rushes, California, Klondike, Australia. 5. Iron Oxide Copper Gold, IOCG, Deposits. Contain gold along with copper and iron oxides, magnetite, hematite. Formed by hydrothermal fluids related to igneous intrusions. Can be extremely large and valuable. Example, Olympic Dam, Australia. 6. Carlin type, sediment hosted, gold deposits. First recognized in Nevada, USA, these deposits revolutionized modern gold mining. Gold occurs as microscopic particles in fine grained sedimentary rocks, especially carbonates like limestone and dolomite. Associated with Arsenian pyrite and realgarorpament minerals. Gold is invisible under normal microscopes, requiring special techniques to detect. These deposits supply a huge portion of U.S. gold production. 7. Scarn hosted gold deposits. Formed where igneous intrusions come into contact with carbonate rich rocks like limestone, producing scarn, a metamorphic rock rich in garnet, pyroxene, and other calcilicates. Gold may be associated with copper, tungsten, or iron. Examples, mines in China and Mexico. 8. Volcanogenic Massive Sulfide, VMS, deposits with gold enrichment. Formed on the seafloor near hydrothermal vents, black smokers. Rich in sulfide minerals like chalcopyrite, sphalerite, galena, and sometimes gold. These deposits are mainly mined for copper, zinc, and lead, but can contain significant byproduct gold. 9. Vedvatasrant type deposits. Unique to South Africa's Witwatersrand Basin, which contains some of the richest gold deposits in the world. The origin is still debated, whether it is placer, hydrothermal, or a combination. Gold is hosted in ancient conglomerates, pebble-rich sedimentary rocks. Summary Gold-bearing deposits are highly diverse, ranging from deep orogenic quartz veins to microscopic sediment-hosted carlinores, and from huge porphyry systems to small placer accumulations in rivers. Each deposit type reflects a different geological process, igneous activity, metamorphism, hydrothermal circulation, or sedimentary concentration. Understanding these deposit types helps geologists explore for new gold resources and guides mining companies in determining the best extraction methods.